Continuing coverage tonight on bullying concerns at the West Valley School District, including a 13-year-old boy receiving death threats and being told to kill himself. Some parents say they've reported the bullying to the principal, only to find out later that they'd only taken the first step, an informal complaint. Tonight, Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell shares Superintendent Peter Finch's explanation about the difference between an informal and a formal complaint and how to make one and one parent's experience of trying to navigate that process. According to the superintendent, how it's supposed to work is that when a principal receives a report of bullying, either verbally or in writing, they're supposed to document it, follow up on it, and resolve it, if at all possible. If not, then parents need to file a formal complaint with the district. The superintendent told me last week that out of a district with 5,000 kids, they only received 13 formal complaints last year and all have been resolved. He said this year they've had three so far. And as far as informal complaints go... Those are documented in our uh, student record system, but I don't have that information for you right now. In order to file a formal complaint, parents must fill out Form 3207F on the district website and submit it to the principal to forward on to district compliance officer Stacy Drake, who handles it from there. If the family's not satisfied with the results of the informal complaint, then the principal will tell them that there's an opportunity for a formal complaint. But one mom who spoke out at a school board meeting back in September told me that wasn't her experience when repeated bullying against her 13-year-old son escalated to the point of death threats last year at the West Valley Innovation Center. My son came home very upset and said that this student told him, you're so annoying go home and get your dad's gun and put it in your mouth and I was done. She and her husband went straight to the principal for a meeting. To us, that was a formal complaint. We were not told that there was a formal complaint form. We were told that it would be handled. We were told by the principal. It was not handled. She says the bullying continued and by February... Ultimately, we just lost confidence that things would be followed through with. So we pulled him out. We did at-home learning, and I just had him with me the rest of the school year. She says he was getting ready to return for this school year when she overheard that same student bullying her son again over Xbox. When you come back to school, I'm gonna break both your arms. And if that doesn't work, I will kill you. At that point, she contacted the district directly and got a hold of district compliance officer Stacy Drake. She said, because nothing has been documented between linking the two, she said essentially, this is the first we're hearing of it on paper. So she said, what we need on file is a restraining order to be able to remove him. And a formal complaint form. Once I filled that out, then he was removed from the school. A letter from the district about the findings of their investigation shows that student had multiple entries in his discipline file about him harassing students. Two entries were about her son, in which they called the student's harassment of him severe, persistent, and pervasive. When I talked to the superintendent about the district's process for reporting bullying, I specifically brought up this case. The concern from parents at that school board meeting was that they didn't feel that that process was being followed. Do you believe an error occurred, and if so, where? So the case at the school board meeting has been resolved, and you could check with the parents on that, and they would tell you it's been resolved. I told him I already had, and the family said while the formal complaint was eventually resolved, they're still concerned about the process they had to go through to get there. But he wouldn't say any more about specific incidents, citing FERPA, the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. It just really seems like they, they don't take any of this seriously. They, it, it's just like they're brushing it under the rug. We're continuing to look into the district's anti-bullying efforts, including what they are and how much the district is spending. We'll also be following up with the district on parents' frustrations regarding the bullying reporting process. In the meantime, if you look on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com, we do have more information on the bullying reporting process, including that formal complaint form. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now.